Hey Cellucor family, it's Erin Stern. Today we're going to talk about losing weight the right way. We're going to talk about how to approach dieting, calculating your BMR, and just how to successfully lose weight over time. When it comes to dieting, the first and most important thing that you need to do is to calculate what's called your basal metabolic rate or BMR. This is the minimum amount of calories that your body needs just to survive. So if you imagine just lying in bed, not doing a single thing, this is how many calories your body would burn. You can find these free calculators online. A good source is active.com. You would just plug in your current weight, your age, your height, and it will give you a calculation as to what the minimum calories you need every day is. The most important thing for losing weight is to create a caloric deficit. And what this means is that you are going to burn more calories than what you take in. You're going to take your goal weight and you're going to multiply it by 10 to 12. And what I recommend is starting at 12, this is going to give you a less aggressive caloric deficit. So for example, if you're 150 pounds, you wanna to get to 140, you would just take 140, multiply it by 12, and this is going to give you a good estimate as to a starting point for your caloric deficit. Now, let's talk about macros. This is one of the biggest questions I get when it comes to leaning down, is what macro split should I follow? It's up to you. The main thing to think about is what foods do you enjoy eating and program those foods in. After all is said and done, you just need to be in a caloric deficit. Protein is so important. It is the building block of every cell. In addition to this, protein is going to help promote feelings of satiety. So you're going to be feeling fuller longer if you increase your protein intake. It's also going to help boost metabolism through what's called the thermic effect of food. So each time you have a protein rich meal, that metabolism goes up. If you're eating four to six meals per day, imagine your metabolism going up every single time you eat. Very, very important. Protein is also going to help with maintaining muscle mass as you lean down, and it's going to help with recovery. In addition to this, protein has a mild diuretic effect, so it can help you look leaner just a little bit faster. So every single meal and snack, you must have protein. So think about that as the foundation of every single meal. Then you can fill in the spaces with your fats and your carbs. And typically when it comes to macronutrient timing, you wanna think about carbs as kind of the, the gas pedal or the fuel in the tank. So when you're most active, you want the most amount of carbs. You can add those fats in when you're more sedentary, but really focus on that pre and post-workout meal. Very important that it's higher in carb, lower in fat, and you wanna make sure that it has a good amount of protein to it. Let's talk about ways that you can improve those feelings of satiety and not be hangry all the time. Of course, protein is number one for improving those feelings of satiety. Another thing you can look to do is increase the volume of your foods. So what you're going to do is look at your fiber intake, slowly increase fiber intake. You don't wanna to toss a bunch of fiber in right away. We typically eat with our eyes first. So if you have a plate filled with leafy greens, different colors, your eyes are going to be very happy because your plate is full. Now these leafy greens are not going to add a lot of calories to your diet, so you can eat as many as you would like. Next thing we can talk about as far as improving feelings of satiety is water intake. It's so important that you keep your water intake high. This is going to help with metabolism. It's going to help with mental clarity. This can also help with fat loss. Now, as far as water intake goes, we don't always like to talk about it, but you can tell that you're hydrated by just doing a quick toilet check. You wanna make sure that your urine is light in color to clear and that you're going every hour or two. This is going to ensure that you're always hydrated and you also wanna drink before you get very thirsty. A lot of times people will ask me, how do I train to lean down? Well, the answer is, is you just have to move. So make sure you're getting your steps in. And as far as workouts go, you can create workouts that burn more calories. Focus on your compound movements and focus on inefficient movements. 
Compound movements are exercises like your, your squats, leg press, deadlifts, pull downs, military press, multi-joint movements. These are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck and it's gonna save you some time in the gym. Now, talking about inefficient movements, these are movements like your dumbbell thrusters, kettlebell swings, anything that's difficult for the body to do, burpees, that's another one. You want to incorporate inefficient exercises because these give you the most calorie burn. You can also think about adding some HIIT or interval training. This is going to give you some fat benefits that last after the workout is done. Bottom line, you want to focus on burning more calories than you take in. If you're able to create a caloric deficit, you will see results. So don't get bogged down in the macros. Make sure you're getting enough protein. Make sure you're moving. So make sure you're getting your steps in, getting your workouts in. Track everything, log everything, and you're going to see really great results. If you stop making progress, you can go back to your food logs, make adjustments accordingly. So if you stall, think about about a 10 to 15% reduction in calories, and this should help kickstart your progress. So if you're tracking, this should be an easy adjustment. That's it for this time. Until next time, train hard, y'all.